In this video from Learn Electrics, we will look at the difference between two plate and three plate lighting circuits. Just what is the difference? How do we recognize a two plate system? What is different about a three plate system? And what does two and three plate actually mean and are they different to work on? So let's begin. What does two and three plate really mean? Let's start with the ceiling rows, because this is where we find a major difference. The same ceiling rows can be used for two plate and three plate lighting. It's just used differently. In a three plate ceiling rows, there are three blocks or plates that are used for the wiring and all three plates are used as shown by the labels here. Within a two plate ceiling rows, only two of the blocks or plates are used. The center block is not used. This is your clue. A two plate ceiling rose might also be made with only two plates or blocks, plus earth of course. Where does the feed or live go to after it leaves the consumer unit? This is the big difference between two plate and three plate lighting. In this video, just for illustration purposes, a feed or live supply cable will be shown as grey twin and earth with yellow dots. And a switch cable will be shown as a plain grey twin and earth. This is what we mean by a two plate lighting circuit. The feed cable comes from the consumer unit and goes to the switch. And the switch cable goes from the switch to the ceiling rows. With a three plate lighting circuit, the feed cable goes from the consumer unit directly to the ceiling rows and the switch cable goes from the ceiling rows to the switch. We say that with a two plate lighting circuit we take the feed to the switch and with a three plate lighting circuit we take the feed to the ceiling rows. Remember these important differences. So let's take a look inside the ceiling rows. Here is a two plate lighting circuit ceiling rows. Notice that only the switch cable comes into the ceiling rows. And we've also shown the connections to the lamp. And this is a ceiling rows for a three plate lighting circuit. Now two cables enter the ceiling rows. The feed cable and the switch cable. And again we've shown the conductors to the lamp. Now take a look at what's happening at the switches because things are different here too. Here are the two plate lighting switch connections. On the left is the feed cable from the consumer unit into the switch and marked here with yellow dots to show that this is the feed cable and is permanently energized. It is always live. On the right is the switch cable going to the ceiling rows. Notice that with two plate lighting we bring the neutral into the switch as well and then take it to the ceiling rows. Compare this to the three plate lighting switch. Only the switch cable from the ceiling rows enters the switch and there is no neutral at the switch. Also notice that there should be brown sleeving on the blue conductor if standard twin earth cable is used to show that the blue conductor in this case is not a neutral. It is in fact a switched live. So how would we loop from room to room in a two plate lighting system? Let's suppose that we have some lighting in one room and we wish to extend the circuit and have lighting in a second room. How do we arrange the circuit from room number one to room number two? With a two plate lighting circuit we must extend the unswitched live conductors from the switch as shown. The ceiling rows in each room is not connected to the other room. And this is the two plate lighting circuit between two rooms with all the wiring in place. Take a moment to look at the switch on the left. It is becoming a busy switch. There are lots of conductors in this back box and we need to be very careful how we place the conductors to get the switch cover on or may even need to consider a deeper back box. If we are looping from one room to another with a three plate system, what would this look like? Here 
but was shown a three-plate lighting circuit extended between two rooms. The feed cable, the live loop, now travels from ceiling rows to ceiling rows, and the switches in each room have no connection between each other. And this is how a three-plate lighting circuit between two rooms should look. We've kept it simple by using single gang one-way switching in this video. In another video, we will look at two-way and intermediate switching for two-plate and three-plate systems. Keep this in mind. Two-plate lighting only uses two plates or blocks at the ceiling rows, plus the earth or CPC. The feed or unswitched live cable goes to the switch and only the switched live plus neutral goes to the ceiling rows. We say take the feed to the switch. With two plate lighting there are usually fewer conductors at the ceiling rows but more conductors at the switches. Three plate lighting uses three plates or blocks at the ceiling rows plus the earth or CPC. The feed cable or live loop cable goes to the ceiling rows. Then an unswitched live goes down to the switch and a switched live returns to the ceiling rows. We say take the feed to the ceiling rows. In three plate lighting there are normally more conductors at the ceiling rows but fewer conductors at the switches. Thank you for watching, it's very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.